They are one of the world's most identifiable birds. One of the oldest and largest migrations on Earth. They feed on pink algae at saline lakes throughout the Rift Valley of East Africa. And they are threatened with industrial development that could end their species forever. Hi, I'm at Lake Natrone in northern Tanzania. For the past 10 years while I've been working on school projects in East Africa, I've also been following and filming the amazing spectacle of the East African flamingos. Amazed to find a million flamingos on my first viewing, it never occurred to me that these birds could be in dire danger. But just two years later, at another great flamingo host lake, I discovered that in the midst of a terrible drought, there were only a handful of flamingos. Here I am in Lake Magadi, in the bottom of the lake. I'm standing on the soda ash bottom. This is the mineral they mine. Mine is part of what's drying up this lake, and behind me there should be water and a million pink flamingos. I have a few birds, but no flamingos. For decades, Magadi has been the site of a huge soda ash mining operation. Though once considered to be a breeding area, no flamingos have bred at Magadi in over 50 years. As I move from lake to lake in the coming years, I learned that the birds' great flight capabilities enable them to seek out the lakes with the best feeding conditions to find their food source, the pink, mineral-fueled algae that give them color. <laughs> The only real danger left of this great species is here at Lake Natron, the last remaining breeding area available to these birds. One of the hottest places on Earth, temperatures near the water can reach 60 degrees Celsius. That's 140 degrees Fahrenheit. As the hot sun evaporates the water, the salt floats and swirls and masses into a giant island of salt in the middle of the lake. Miles from shore, unseen by tourists or the local Maasai people, the birds build nests out of the salt. If all conditions are just right, tens of thousands of baby flamingos will soon be walking in a great mass across the dry lake bed to fresh water which they can drink and wash their feathers in. It's a delicate dance, balancing rain, heat, natural water flow, and evolution, and it appears that only one thing could destroy it forever. Remember the soda ash plant at Lake Magadi? The government of Tanzania has proposed building a much larger plant at Lake Natron. So what would they use all of this soda ash for? Much of it is used to make glass. Glass is an amazing substance. It holds an incredible variety of products. It can be recycled again and again and made into new containers. If we recycled more of our glass, we wouldn't use nearly as much raw soda ash. Local acts have global impacts. Synthetic soda ash is much, much cheaper than the natural soda ash that's mined from Lake Magadi in Kenya and from the other natural soda ash lakes. Tata Chemical withdrew from investing in soda ash at Lake Natron, but the government of Tanzania has said they will go ahead and mine soda ash at Lake Natron. And they've been looking for a second site where they can mine soda ash, and that is called Ngaruka. I'm here at Ngaruka, the proposed site of a huge soda ash factory that could have a terrible impact on the flamingos and on local community livelihoods. Far from the lake, this might seem like a better location, but... Those factories use fresh water, which is so limited in the vicinity of the lake. And this fresh water is so critical for these birds, for drinking and for washing their feathers. So there will be massive competition between the factory and the birds. The Tanzanian government and stakeholders would benefit more by developing the tourism potential for Lake Natron and also investing in conservation and community livelihoods. I would like to call upon the government of Tanzania to think about what already exists at Natron as an investment. So it's already a factory there. It's a tourism factory. It's a flamingo factory. So doing what is good for the people, what is good for the global community, and what is good for the government of Tanzania itself. 
David Attenborough said it's the greatest ornithological spectacle on earth. And nature and God has given that to us for free and we should not do anything to destroy it. Thank you.